things first, you're going to want to divide your hair and I give myself a parting before I put any curl formers in because it's actually really hard to change where your parting is once your hair is already set and dry. I give myself four sections in my hair and then I know that I need 10 curl formers in every single section. So go ahead and tuck the other sections away so I put mine in a bun. You can use a grippy clip, whatever you like. When you have the section that you're actually working on, then I take maybe an inch section and I prepare that with a spritz of water from my Flerisol. That gives me the perfect amount of moisture. Then I brush through and make sure there's absolutely no tangles and I will link this brush and this Flerisol bottle down below so that you know where to find it. And then you want to prep the curl former. So you literally want to insert the hook into the curl former. So it's really, really easy to do. And then you just want to put the hook around the hair and you push the curl former up over the hook and pull the hook through the curl former and it pulls the hair through and it's really really easy you can do it on other people too so I'll just show you here on my sister so you just put the hair into the hook and you pull the hook through the curl former and it pulls the hair through and it bounces back it's really really cool so we're just going to do that a whole bunch more times so you're just going to prep the hair make sure there's no tangles and it really helps if you twist the hair as well and I'll show you why in a second so then you just want to pull that hook through the curl former it pulls the hair through so easy i love it if the curl former doesn't bounce back by itself then you can roll it back into shape just like this so if your hair starts drying throughout then just go ahead and spray it again with your flarisol bottle make sure there's no tangles so this trick that i use where i'm twisting my hair i just want to show you again you twist your hair so that it all goes into the hook really easily Twisting the hair makes it really compact and it ensures that there's no flyaways or loose pieces of hair that are going to get caught or tangled inside the curl former. So if you just twist it at the top, it makes sure that it goes through really, really smoothly. So that's why I twist each piece of hair every time. It's not completely necessary to the curl or anything. It just helps it go through with the hook. And the whole process of putting them in maybe takes me about 40 minutes, but I am getting quicker and I think I can probably get this down to about 20 minutes in total. So when you're done, you're going to have around about 40 curl formers on your head and you're just going to leave those until they're completely dry i actually slept on mine overnight it's not even uncomfortable i've done it maybe like four or five times it's really squishy so it's fine then when they're completely dry you can take them out so what you want to do is like squish the grippy piece at the top of the curl former and so that it just releases its grip on your hair and then you can just slide it out and you have these perfect ringlet curls so you just want to go ahead and take all of those out So if they don't come out in a perfect ringlet, just like twist it around your finger and it will be the perfect ringlet, see? So when they're all out, you'll have a full head that looks like this. So just spritz that with a bit of hairspray, make sure those don't come loose. Or if you were clever, then you could have used some setting lotion before you put the curl formers in, which I actually forgot to do this time. And then I go ahead and I separate the curls just to give myself a little bit of volume and to make them look a little bit less thick and chunky. I wanted to have more individual curls. So then I can also tip my head upside down, just ruffle up my roots and that gives me a lot more volume and makes the curls look kind of a bit more natural too. So then we can get into the 90s hairstyles. So for me, that was a big thick headband. I think I saw this on Saved by the Bell and I just really love the style. So I'm gonna try my hardest to do a bow with this ribbon. So I just tie my hair back with this. I leave a piece out to give myself a bit of a quiff because I really like that look. And then I just tie this in the best bow that I can. If you already have a hairband that has a bow on it, then that's absolutely perfect. That will give you a much better effect than my little makeshift bow did there. But you can see the kind of thing that I'm going for right here. My Saved by the Bell, high volume, springy curl, 90s look. For the next one, I wanted to do a half up, half down. So I'm just separating the top half of my hair really gently so as not to disturb those curls. I don't want to create any frizz here. I want perfect ringlets. So when I have got my hair separated, I take the biggest, thickest scrunchie that I have, which is actually the silk one from Satin Light Caps. And I just tie that really high on top of my head and it just gives you loads of volume. It shows off those curls. They're so springy. Oh my gosh, I can't even handle it. And look, I just laid my baby hairs there 
and yeah that is the second look so that is the two 90s looks that i wear when i have my curl formers in i really love them so that is everything for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like it and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye